Today we're going to be taking a look at Tables by Google's Incubator, Area 120. Tables is the latest tool to come from Area 120 and is now available in the United States in beta. It's effectively a competitor to the likes of Airtable and allows you to automate your spreadsheets and lightweight databases. Basically data is stored in tables and rows and you can create forms and automations to interact with it. Here you can see a comparison between the paid plan and the free plan, which covers the number of tables, rows, size of attachments, and the number of automation actions you can have. The length of history that is kept also differs depending on your plan. Google provides a number of templates before you to get started, which cover in different categories. To get started, Google allows you to choose a blank workspace or choose one of the templates provided. For this example, we're gonna choose the Kanban board. So we'll create a copy of the template within our workspace, which we can then create our own views on. In this example, we're showing you a map view, which allows you to view points on a map. You can then click on the point and view more details. Another view that you can create is the Kanban view. So using our Kanban board, you can see here we can choose the Kanban board layout, choose the columns, click OK, and instantly we can visualize our data in columns. Now let's talk about automation. From any table, you can choose to create a bot which allows you to react to data changes within that table. You can see here, when changes in any assignee occur, we can run a series of actions uh, such as sending emails, sending to a webhook, deleting rows or modifying rows. Then we can configure the action and that will run accordingly. The number of bots you can create will depend on the plan that you're on. So if you're on the paid plan, you'll be able to create more automations. Now let's talk about forms. As you might expect, forms allow us to gather information from anyone, which then is stored within our table. With forms, you can create a name, a title, description, and then a message that appears once the user has submitted the form. You can also enforce sign-in and provide additional details for forms within or fields within your table. You can see here we've made the name field mandatory and specified the type of text input. Now let's see an example of the form. You can click a preview and here you go, here's our form with the name, the date picker, and then the ability for the user to enter the fields that our table requires. We'll submit that, there's our thank you message, go back to our table and refresh and you can now see our new task from Bob has been created. If you want, you can also export this data to a Google Sheet, which allows you to perform more advanced calculations on the data within your table. You can also view the history of your table, including row changes, deleted rows, and deleted columns. You can also create relationships between columns in other tables. So that's all for now. If you like what you've seen, subscribe for more Google Table videos coming soon, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see more of.